Good morning and a warm welcome to the Redemptorist Media Center and to this morning's Holy Mass. In this Holy Mass, we pray for the following intentions. For the repose of the following souls, Alice Sushila Pinto, Arokya Mary Leela and Gerard Morgan, C.A. Maria Raj and Arun, <coughs> Kajitan D'Souza, Cecil Xavier, Rani Cecil and John Peter, Crystal Furtal, Esperanza Quadros and the Holy Souls in Purgatory, Flanny, Sunny, Felsi and Ivan, for all the forgotten souls in Purgatory, H. Joseph, Mr. and Mrs. Thomas, Hilary Francis Pereira, Joe Rodriguez, Leonard Daniels, Lily Francis, Mina Rodriguez, Melville Saldana and Gerard Saldana, the most needy souls in Purgatory, Pushpa Kanta, Remigius Barnabas, Rosario Philip Dias, Rosie Dias, Shaji Philip, the souls in Purgatory, Sister Elizabeth Poriath, and V.G. Anthony. On the seventh day remembrance of Noel de Souza from Indore, on the month's mind of Bernadette Sebastian Rodriguez, and Philomena Mary Charles. On the birthday remembrances of Regina Nathan, Eliza Gomez, George Tarakan, John Fonseca, and John Pinto. On the death anniversaries of Leonard Daniels, Malcolm Tannen, Pascual Ramancio Lima Dias, and Reverend Sister Rosamond Fernando of the Holy Cross Sisters. On the wedding anniversary remembrance of Joyce Fredericks. <clears throat> we join in thanksgiving on the birthdays of Rohan Sunil Leo, Emmanuel Joshua, Jude Davids, Barbara and Nelson, Carlton Figueredo, George Varghese, Jovita Christopher, Marie Therese Edison, Neville D.K., Placid D'Souza, and Tanisha R. On the wedding anniversary of Arokya Das and Clara Das, for favours received to Divine Mercy and Mother of Perpetual Help for a successful root canal procedure by Preeti Silverius, for special intentions of safe and healthy delivery of a baby and mother, Sankita Jos, for conception and blessing of a child, for God-fearing and God-pleasing life partner for Sujata Dungdung, for healing from fear, anxiety, confusion, and good health and well-being of James Sanjay, for the good health of Edwin, for the issue of a visa soon for Rochelle, for good health of Ajit Thomas and family, for healing of Yannick, and special intentions of Sunil Dominic Sabi. With these intentions and those in our heart, let us prayerfully participate in this Holy Eucharist. Here we are, all together as we sing a song, joyfully. friends to celebrate the brotherhood we share always one keep the fire burning in the liquid care and we'll all join in and sing here we are all together as we sing a song joyfully In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My dear friends, today we celebrate the memorial of the martyrdom of Saints Andrew Kim Taegon, priest, and Paul Chong Han Sang, and companions. These martyrs 
witnessed to the Redeemer right up to the very end. And among these companions, there were, there were few priests, bishops, religious, but the majority who were martyred, the Korean martyrs, were laymen and laywomen. Heroically proclaiming the good news even to the point of death. My dear friends, as we celebrate this Eucharist, let's pause and examine our hearts. For the times and moments when we have failed in our life of witness, for the times and moments when we wavered, we faltered, we failed, we humbly beseech the Lord pardon, mercy and healing. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. May he forgive us all our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who have been pleased to increase your adopted children in all the world and who made the blood of the martyrs, Saint Andrew Kim Tai Gon and his companions, a most fruitful seed of Christians. Grant that we may be defended by their help and profit always from their example. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Whoever among you of all his people, let him go up to Jerusalem and rebuild the house of the Lord. A reading from the book of Ezra. In the first year of Cyrus the king of Persia, that the word of the Lord by mouth of Jeremiah might be fulfilled, the Lord stirred up the spirit of Cyrus king of Persia, so that he made a proclamation throughout all his kingdom and also put it in writing. Thus says Cyrus king of Persia, the Lord God of heaven has given me all his kingdoms of the earth. He has charged me to build him a house at Jerusalem, which is in Judah. Whoever among you, of all his people, may his God be with him. Let him go up to Jerusalem, which is in Judah, and rebuild the house of the Lord, the God of Israel, and he is God who is in Jerusalem. And let each survivor in whatever place he sojourns be assisted by the men of his place with silver and gold, with goods and with beasts, besides free will offerings for the house of God that is in Jerusalem. Then rose up the heads of the father's house of Judah and Benjamin, and the priest and the Levites, everyone whose spirit God has stood up to go up to rebuild the house of the Lord that is in Jerusalem. And all who were about them aided them with vessels of silver, with gold, with goods, with beads, and with costly wares, besides all that was freely offered. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Responsorial Psalm. Our response. What great deeds the Lord worked for us. What great deeds the Lord worked for us. When the Lord brought back the exiles of Zion, we thought we were dreaming. Then was our mouth filled with laughter, our tongues songs of joy. What great deeds the Lord worked for us. Then the nations themselves said, 
what great deeds the lord worked for them what great deeds the lord worked for us indeed we are glad what great deeds the lord worked for us bring back our exiles o lord as streams in the south those are sowing in tears will sing them a reap what great deeds the lord worked for us they go out they go out full of tears bearing seed of the sowing they come back they come back with a song bearing their sheaves what great deeds the lord worked for us kindly stand for the gospel hallelujah hallelujah give thanks to the risen lord hallelujah hallelujah give praise to his name let your light shine before others so that they may see your work good works and give you glory to your father who is in heaven hallelujah hallelujah give thanks to the risen lord hallelujah hallelujah give praise to his name The Lord be with you and with your spirit a reading from the holy gospel according to saint luke glory to you o lord at that time jesus said to the crowds no one after lighting a lamp covers it with a jar or puts it under a bed but puts it on a stand so that those who enter may see the light for nothing is hidden that will not be made manifest nor is anything secret that will not be known and come to light take care then how you hear for to the one who has more will be given and from the one who has not even what he thinks that he has will be taken away the gospel of the lord Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. The first reading from the book of Ezra reveals to us and proclaims the return of the exiles. So God, through the instrumentality of King Cyrus. once again in his divine mercy reaches out to his people god reveals to us in and through the reading of ezra that he is close to us the people of israel in their captivity have gone through a lot they have lost everything their land their properties their identity everything that they held very close to the heart was gone and the greatest love of their life the temple was destroyed and when they were going through this kind of a moment it is at that time the lord inspires the king cyrus thereby revealing to his people that i see you i hear you and i know everything that you go through there are times in our life that we feel we are abandoned there are times we have prayed for certain intentions for many many years and we feel god is silent or the question comes does god really hear our prayer and today's reading from isaiah reveals to us that god sees and god hears and god knows our pain and this god definitely and surely comes down to save us and therefore we are invited to trust the lord we are invited to persevere in our walk with him we are invited even in difficult moments to keep our gaze on him we are invited to believe and to walk in his ways we are reminded that faith 
is not just a matter of feelings, but that faith is a decision, a decisive choice for God, a decisive choice for Christ, irrespective of what we go through. And therefore, every experience of our life chisels, chisels us, prunes us, makes us who we are. We don't go through any experience for the sake of going through it. We don't go through anything for the heck of it. But in and through every experience, the good and the not so good, through successes, through joys, through sorrows, and even in our failures, mistakes, and disasters, God teaches us. And therefore, as believers celebrating this Eucharist, we are invited to learn as we journey. Just as God journeyed with Israel, taught Israel, molded and melted Israel, the same God in this Eucharist melts and molds us. And therefore, we are invited, as in the gospel, to be a lamp that is lit. We live in a broken and a wounded world. And it is into this broken and wounded world that this wounded Messiah, Jesus Christ, who was wounded for our transgressions, heals and binds our wounds. And he does not just come into our hearts to bind our wounds, to make us feel good, but rather he comes into our hearts to empower us to become in turn wounded healers wherever we are sent. A life of witness in whatever state of life we are in. And therefore, as this word will become flesh on this altar, may this God who empowers us, may this God who journeys with us, may this God who fills us with his love and his mercy and his tenderness, fill us and empower us to become his witness. May he continue to transform us. And the greatest challenge, my dear brothers and sisters, is not just about celebrating this Eucharist in this half hour, but to live this Eucharist. The body continues to be broken, the body continues and the blood continues to be shed so that the Eucharist is continued to be lived in our daily lived experience. And therefore, as we celebrate this Eucharist, may we discover this extraordinary God in our ordinary circumstances. The God of Israel is our God. The God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, the God of Jacob, Jesus Christ our Lord, may he continue to journey with us into, his, into, as, into our lives. May he continue to journey with us as we journey ahead in our life. We pray for this grace in this Eucharist. Amen. This bread and wine Take a house and make them die Take a book and our anxiety Give us life and liberty Change this bread Dear friends, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, our gracious and loving Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all his holy church. Look with favor, Almighty God, on the offerings of your people, and through the intercession of the blessed martyrs, grant that we ourselves may become a sacrifice acceptable to you for the salvation of all the world. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. 
It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for the blood of your blessed martyrs, poured out like Christ to glorify your name, shows forth your marvellous works, by which in our weakness you perfect your power, and on the feeble bestow strength to bear you witness through Christ our Lord. And, uh-huh. so, and so with all the powers of heaven, we worship you constantly on earth, and before your majesty, without end, we acclaim. Holy and to be glorified, O God, who love the human race and who always walk with us on the journey of life. Blessed indeed is your Son, present in our midst when we are gathered by his love. And when as once for the disciples, so now for us he opens the scriptures and breaks the bread. Therefore, Father most merciful, we ask that you send forth your Holy Spirit to sanctify these gifts of bread and wine that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. On the day before he was to suffer, on the night of the Last Supper, he took bread and he said the blessing. He broke the bread and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, gave you thanks, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, Holy Father, as we celebrate the memorial of Christ, your Son, our Saviour, whom you led through his passion and death on the cross to the glory of the resurrection, and whom you have seated at your right hand, we proclaim the work of your love until he comes again, and we offer you the bread of life and the chalice of blessing. Look with favour on the oblation of your church, in which we show forth the paschal sacrifice of Christ, that has been handed on to us, and grant that by the power of the Spirit of your love, we may be counted now and until the day of eternity among the members of your Son, in whose body and blood we have communion. And so, having called us to your table, Lord, confirm us in unity, so that together with Francis our Pope and Peter our Bishop, and with all bishops, priests and deacons and your entire people, As we walk your ways with faith and hope, we may strive to bring joy 
and trust into the world. Remember our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the peace of your Christ. And all the dead whose faith you alone have known, admit them to rejoice in the light of your face and in the resurrection, give them the fullness of life. Grant also to us that when our earthly pilgrimage is done, that we may come to an eternal dwelling place and live with you forever. There in communion with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, with St. Joseph, her most chaste spouse, with the apostles and martyrs, St. Andrew Kim and companions, Alphonsus, Clement, Gerard, John Neumann, and with all the saints, we shall praise and exalt you through Jesus Christ, your Son. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Jesus, our Emmanuel, who journeys with us in all the experiences of our life, reveals to us that God is our Abba. So with childlike trust we pray, Our Father, Father who, who art, art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from all evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who set your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity, in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us now offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take, take away peace. the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. How blessed are we who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should end under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. An act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are truly present in the most blessed sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to possess you within my soul. Since I am unable now to receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as being already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Amen. I will 
end of the pandemic almighty and merciful father who show your love to all your creation we come before you asking for a quick control of the coronavirus currently ravaging our world hear graciously the prayers we make for those affected by the virus in the various parts of the world grant healing to the sick eternal life to the dead and consolation to the bereaved families protect doctors nurses and others serving the sick we pray that as medicines and vaccines to combat the sickness are being found and administered that they may be safely effectively and equitably distributed to the most vulnerable populations all over the world we pray for all government and health authorities that they take appropriate steps for the good of the people we make this prayer in the name of jesus christ your son a lord and redeemer amen my dear friends a small announcement join us for another episode of who's who in the bible praying with biblical characters at 6 pm today today's character is barabbas and it will be conducted by father peter b also do join us for the rosary at 7 pm let us pray nourished with the food of the valiant as we celebrate the blessed martyrs we humbly ask you o lord that clinging faithfully to christ we may labor in the church for the salvation of all through christ our lord amen the lord be with you and with your spirit may almighty god bless you the father the son and the holy spirit amen go forth the mass is ended thanks be to god